Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, we'll talk about software called View, the most awaited tutorial from my channel and the examples you can see in front of your screen right now. And if you're really excited, then my lovely subscribers, without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now in software called View Extreme 2016 R5 released version and when you install this version and after open this, the first user interface will be look like this where you can see there are so many options called like create new scene where you can import your own file and there are some presets like empty, simple landscape, environment map, macro and studio render. This software is specifically used for landscape or environmental render but you can use it for studio render as well. Now before going more in depth knowledge, I just want to tell you that this software have some cool specific requirements for use on your system. Now when I talk about like recommendation of this software specification, this software will be working on Windows 64 bit like Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10 but all will be working on Windows 64 bit OS and it will work on Mac OS version 10.13 plus as well. It will work on like multi core CPU like Intel Core i7, i9, AMD Ryzen or Mac Pro, AVX compliant. And your system should be like 8 GB of RAM, 4 GB of free hard disk spaces on the driving host on the OS. The software recommended a graphics card containing at least 4 GB of VRAM with a 3D Mark Core or 1000 or better. Now talking about compatible host like Autodex Maya 2015 to 2020, Windows and Mac as well it will support and also it will working on like Autodex 3ds Max version 2016 to 2021 and it will working on Maxon Cinema 4D and Network Lightwave as well. Now when you start opening this software for the very first time, I preferred you should click this empty scene because whatever you create it will start from this first empty scene. So just create this empty scene and after create this it will look like this. So this is the basic user interface after opening this software for the very first time. Now talking about some more details because this is complete beginner based tutorial. Now these two are my basic user toolbars like these are like presets which you can use to create entire environment scene and this is like options like rendering and all. So this is like a file edit object atmosphere. So this is the most important option like atmosphere when you click this atmosphere you can load your own atmosphere like from your load atmosphere you can use it by your own like these are some presets which is already installed and it will come from view pre-installed like these are some cool environments which will be coming from this software whenever you want to use this just click here and it's optional called yes update my camera when you click this the scene will be updated here now this is the preview of the scene you can see this is a preview which is already happening here whatever you will change here it will come here as well now these are the four views like top front left and this is like perspective view and this is like preview as I told before this is actually a world browser but you can call it as a layer panel this player panel is exactly same like all other softwares whatever you will use to create entire in this scene you can see all these things in this layer panel so today i will show you one simple scene that how you can create it and all and in future i will give you more interesting tutorials based on this view and if you're really interested by these kind of videos then don't forget to like also you have to comment that you want more tutorial based on this software yes or not Okay, so now the basic environment setup is done and if you can see we have already a main camera sunlight uh, is pre-installed and some cool based layer like this the ground is the sky so these other will come pre-installed or you can call this like a preset kind of thing. Now if you want to create a hill or like a like mountain you can create it by one single click yes. So this is like options like this is like a terrain option called is like a text and this is like a, some spheres this is like a water when you click and hold you can see like like water this is like a mud this is snowfalls and raining and all these are the all like different different presets which you can use it in any time in any scene. Now in this scene I want to create a mountain so just click and hold and you can see there are three options which is like a pre-default one mountain and this is like a procedural terrain which will be more more interesting details and these are the like loaded preset which will be a long kind of scene. So for this tutorial I will show you only this much. So just click here and automatically one mountain will create here. So now let me show you how it will look like. So just zoom out by using your scroll. So now you can see this is my basic mountain which is look like this. Now we are already now, right now in main 
in camera mode if you want to go to like perspective you just have to click here and there are so many options like smooth and shaded like lights and scene and all front view top view perspective view if you want to go to perspective just click here now you are in perspective view so now whatever you will change here you can see this is from perspective this is completely a, like a 3d dimensional software but you can't see the renders from here because we are not in camera view to go in camera view just click here and active camera mode now this is your camera mode now you can change your camera view from here as well and the updated scene will be coming here in spot okay now we have this mountain here which is created like this now if you want to edit this mountain just double click on this layer and it will open something like that now you can sculpt this mountain anytime just click here these are the basic default presets you can just click it so that the mountain will be updated you can see this mountain is updated now if you want to sculpt this it can be sculpted something like that now if you don't have any time just single click it and it will automatically update something like that now i have to sculpt this little bit and something something like that this is just a basic simple clicks you can use it by your own and when you're happy with your scene just press ok it will automatically update here you can see it looks just realistic now if you want to create some cool waters in it you just have to click this water layer just single click and the water layer will be coming something like that now a light setup is a little bit different so that you can't see the entire scene here so let's change the light setup so change the light setup you just click the sunlight and what do you have to do just have to change the sun positions to so something something like that let's see what happened now see it's started visible here see it looks just amazing now change the sunlight positions to something in this direction to make sure the scene will be visible more yup the scene is right now visible with this cool water surface and all now make sure your camera angle should be proper something like that and you can see this is like water level and if you want to increase this water level you just have to click this C option and just have to you have to just zoom in and make sure this will go a little bit up so that you can see some depths in it now you can see this is looking something like that with your like sea levels and all now you can do lots of things by using this software now let's delete all this scene and let's create one another perfect scene so just click and delete now you all deleted all everything now guys you already resetted everything and i will show you one interesting scene to create here just click here and uh, just press this one to proceed to terrain because this have more details just release this button now you already created a terrain the camera is inside of this hill so just click this camera button now go to this any view and drag it to something something like that so that you can see your renders from this perspective view and let's uh, like rotate this camera a little bit something like that and now you can see this is a hill with this ground but no water now if you want to create some water but before creating some water you just have to increase or like change the shape of this procedural terrain just double click on this and it will come like this as i told in this previous part and just you can use any of this preset to create some your own own create module so i preferred this one is good enough and just press ok now this have some cool variations and to create a water just click here one click and you can create your own water level and if you want to increase the water level little bit you just have to just click and make sure it should go up now you can see this waters are visible from here if you go to top view something like that the waters are like look like around something like that now guys if you want to adjust some settings of the sea just double click on the sea button there are so many options like surface alt altitude and you can use some global wave control so if you disable this one and for like wind direction a little bit higher like wave amount a little bit higher just press ok you can see some changes will be happening here like like the water level will be a little more increase the wind levels a little bit high and after everything will be created you just have to render the scene right so just click this option button here the quick render when you click here it will start on rendering and you can see this is already looking so much realistic now guys you can see this output which is looks just amazing and it's almost a look like a realistic by using few simple clicks you can create this kind of output inside of this software called view but guys in future i'll create more exciting tutorials based on this view software and if you really want this view software tutorial then don't forget to comment that you really like this video yes or not also you can dislike my video it's completely up to you and guys before leaving this video you just have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter and you can see the examples in front of your screen which is already taken from their own site you can go and check that all outputs it's completely up to you okay guys i'll see you in the next video till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking fx world